Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to continue our sketch basics by talking about shapes. Now, we're going to show you everything you need to know about creating shapes, modifying shapes, transforming them in any sort of way, and even creating more complex types of shapes, multiple combined shapes or things like that. So check it out. We're going to get started. So we have a blank canvas here, and we're going to get started creating some shapes. Now you can create all sorts of shapes simply with a keyboard command. Uh, for instance, if we want to create a rectangle, all we have to do if nothing selected is hit R, and you'll see we get a crosshair where we can click and drag. Now if we wanted to set a specific size, we could always come to our inspector and under size set this to be something a little bit more specific. Now, that's great, we have a rectangle. Um, however, what other shapes can we make? If we click this insert button in the top left and then shape, you'll see we have the options for all sorts of things. We have a line, which can really just get uh, an increased thickness. Um, you can't really add too much more to it other than that. Now, we also have the ability to create an arrow where we can just click and drag and create an arrow here. You'll notice it's not filled in or anything, so we need to select this and then select a fill, which we maybe want to have something be like black or for the borders, we can also make those black. Now, we also have four shapes. We uh, can make a rectangle like we saw. We can make an oval. Uh, if you hold down shift, it's going to make the uh, both the sides equal, therefore making it a circle. Likewise, if you do that with the rectangle, you hold down shift, it's going to make it in a square. These are things that are pretty much used in every single application like this. So if you're familiar with Illustrator or any other application where you're making shapes, chances are you've held down shift to make a perfect shape before. Okay, so we have a square, we have a, well, we have a rectangle, a circle. Now let's see what other shapes we can make. We can make a rounded square, which is just a square with a border radius. If we click and drag here, you'll notice that it's basically the same options for a square, except for we have this radius slider here that can make these, uh, the edges more of a rounded edge here. Okay, now we also have a star, a polygon, and a triangle. If you're wondering where the options are for these objects, well, we're going to click and drag to make a star first, and then we can add more points. We can change its radius to make it maybe like a fatter star or a you know more pointy star. So you're not actually setting these things before you draw it, but uh, after you draw it, you can then change the points and the radius. If you'll notice any of these shapes, if they have specific tools, are going to be over here in the inspector. So, okay, we have a star, circle, square with rounded edges, square, arrow, line, and we also have a polygon and triangle. So let's do the polygon. The polygon is the same thing here where we can change the amount of points. Let's say we wanted to make a hexagon. We have one here. And this can go up pretty darn high, it can go up to 10, but if you really want, you can have it go up even higher than that. Uh, just the slider doesn't go up past 10, you just have to enter those values manually. Okay, and also on shapes, we just have triangles. So let's go ahead and make a triangle. Okay, so we've made a triangle, and now you could choose if you want it to be equilateral or not. If we click that, it's going to make this an equilateral triangle. If not, it's going to remain like this. However, what happens if we wanted to move this top point of the triangle? Actually, what happens if we wanted to move the points of any of these shapes? Well, in Illustrator, you had two different types of uh, pointers. You had a white pointer and a black pointer. In Sketch, you just have this one. If you'll notice, we click on the shape once, and it only really gives us these transform tools. How do we actually get to the vertices here? Well, if we double click on the object, then we can now see all of our points and we have the pen tool show up. We can click and drag, move any of these points around just like that. If we wanted to add a point, if we just uh, click somewhere in a line segment like this, you'll see that the plus comes up and we can create this point just like here uh, and double clicking it turns it from a curve to a straight point and then back again. So you can make this rounded and then extend this by using these 
uh, little Bezier curve tools. Now let's say we wanted to delete one of these. All we have to do is click it and then we can click delete. Now that point is gone and we have a totally wacky shape going on here. We, let's delete this other one and make it even weirder. And let's turn this point into a straight point and now we have sort of a wild triangle. From here we can now shift and modify this as needed. And what's more is that we can even take this and add it to another triangle like this, select both of them, and click Union, and now we have one shape. Now we showed this a long time ago when we were going over the interface, this adding a union, it actually just makes a group. But what happens when we double click this group? Well what happens is it opens up and we can now have access to modify either of the shapes individually. So if you double click this now, we can access this shape and it's going to allow us to move uh, our one triangle. Cool. So we've now created shapes. We've created uh, a shape that made a union out of two modified shapes. We figured out how to not only transform these shapes by clicking and uh, transforming. And these tools work the same way that you're used to where you click the middle square and it shrinks horizontally, the middle ones and it'll shrink vertically, or the corners and it's going to shrink both of them. Again, holding shift is going to make sure that uh, change happens evenly. Now this won't make this a perfect square, but it's going to make sure that when you scale it up that it retains the proportions that it had before. So now you should be able to not only get in here and create some shapes, but you can modify them and change them to be whatever you need them to be. Now in further videos, we're going to be talking about using the vector or the pen tool that you're used to to create even more complex custom shapes. And we're going to be going over more things with union, subtract, intersect, and difference to make some really cool complex shapes. So like I said, these are just the basics of Sketch 3. We're going to be taking it through all the way into advanced features, and we're going to get there soon, I promise. These videos are going to keep coming all month long, and maybe even to next month too. It depends on how far we can get. So keep watching. I promise there are many more Sketch videos on the way soon.